Tonight, the first tests are in for a new Central Florida hurricane blocker. It's called Storm Stoppers. A local company is going public with what may be the first lightweight alternative to plywood. Here's Mike Holfeld with a Problem Solvers exclusive. The ritual of hurricane season 2004. Residents rushing to hoist and drill plywood over glass to seal windows from nature's weather-driven Big Bang. Now, the Big Bang is about to face a new challenger. Three, two, one, fire. Welcome to ground zero. That completes impact number one. In the search for the perfect defense for the perfect storm. Florida's hurricane free-for-all has prompted a rush to develop glass windows and doors that can handle the surge of hurricane force winds. What it is is we cause a vacuum inside and we simulate a hurricane. Orlando-based National Certified Testing Laboratories gave Local 6 exclusive access to their test facility. Every specimen that we test... What we found was a sort of warehouse archive of past materials tested and stored over the last 10 years. Now, they're about to test a new idea by a new wave entrepreneur. Meet John D. Smith a one-man show with an accidental invention to sell. It's very light, lightweight. Smith has teamed up with partner Lark Cruz to market a plywood alternative they call Storm Stoppers. And you just basically line it up here on the window, and the pieces are already in place. And then once you have it up, you start pressing it into place. It's a lightweight plastic material sold under the trade name Coraplast. Smith and Cruz use 3 8 thick sheets of Coraplast, placing a dual lock system developed by 3M every six inches across. They line it up, snap it on, and when the storm is over, just take it off. Does it feel solid? Oh, very solid. Nothing's going through that. We're shooting a four foot two by four, 40 feet per second. Um, after a countdown, the missile comes out of the barrel and impacts the product at the specified speed. That speed is equivalent to the wind velocity of 120 miles an hour. Three pressure points One, must survive five. impact. Standards set by the American Society of Civil Engineers. As you can see, the missile didn't penetrate anywhere. This specimen is in its past. Ironically, Smith was using a thinner version of the Coraplast for sports signs and creative wheel covers. This accidental invention came as a last resort just days before the hurricane. Now he has the exclusive distributorship for Coraplast in Central Florida. I just happened to grab something and it worked. And when I heard about all the interest involved, I decided to start targeting this market. Now, speaking of marketing, Smith wants to emphasize he's not marketing the Storm Stopper as an answer to hurricane shutters, simply as a plywood alternative. For more information, you can go to local6.com.